Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Festival of Football, team number two of Path to Glory. We get to talk about this brand new, insane week of content we have ahead of us, starting off with this insane team, and also the market crash that is going on. Insane market drops because of the preview packs and this insane content and these insane players and how cheap they have gotten because of those preview packs. And I really think those preview packs are gonna be what we talk about for the next three to four weeks on FIFA because they are out until the middle of July and it's gonna impact the market daily. It's gonna keep the market very volatile. So we're gonna keep talking about that a lot in the coming weeks. But specifically focusing on the market crash, what has dropped off, why it's dropped off, and you know what can you expect going forward? A lot of it has to do with these Path to Glory cards because they are cheap, right? And this is these cards being very cheap because they're brand new, they're live and upgradable, is crashing a lot of the rest of the market too. Team of the Seasons are down. Icons are in the mud. I mean, this is a huge, huge market crash and it was all brought on by surprise. We had no idea that EA was doing this preview pack stuff. They just kind of dropped the ball yesterday. They dropped it on us and bang, here it is. I mean, I think it was an EA's plan to crash the market like they did today 100% with the timing of when they released those preview packs and just the way they did things. It really just made sense today. So I'm losing a lot of coins. I know some of you guys are too. We're going to make it through, right? We'll take the losses and we'll come back even stronger. And it's also June, right? So it stings a little less because it's not you know that big of a, of a stage in the game. But anyways, team two with Path to Glory insane players. Firmino, Josef Martinez, Joao Felix, I think, is a really sick dynamic image, one of the best in the game, but I think we were hoping for some better stats. He didn't get that big of a boost from his other cards in this game. Of course, potentially the upgrade, but I think we wanted a little bit more juiced Joao Felix card. Eden Hazard looks mental. Wijnaldum, Edwin Leitao, Chilwells, the Alexis Sanchez is really dope as well, uh, and I really like this Paredes card. I know I traded some of him today. We made some coins first hour uh, on this card, and this is a position that was very needed. French right back, or sorry, not French, but League One right back with those PSG links. That is an incredible card for links to, you know, guys like Di Maria with the perfect link. You know, you've got other cards like Verratti that a lot of people have now, the Path to Glory, you know, the uh, team of the season, Marquinhos, and all the other PSG links that are in this game. That's a big W there. Even Rebic looks really, really good with the AC Milan links. Klosterman looks insane for a 90 pace center back once again. And Nandez, even for a 45K card, looks really, really good. So huge W from the team today. And also what is an even bigger W is the SBC content, especially for this Iniesta. In my opinion, this Iniesta, which I actually already finished the SBC, that SBC is awesome. I know he's very hard to link, so I understand EA bringing him in at 125,000 coins. Fodder is down, so this card price just keeps going down as well. Very craftable if you had any fodder left over in your club from doing player picks. I did this today because I had a duplicate 90 Allison, so I just sent some fodder into this SBC because it's a W, right? Kind of an emotional SBC, and I think they priced it at the perfect price point uh, for this game. And I think it's a W, right? They also gave him five-star skills and that four-star weak foot, so really pumped about this Iniesta. Look at the thumbs up, man. You guys agree? Big W of that Iniesta today. Now, the Grealish card is kind of interesting. 171K for this 91 rated Grealish. You know, a little bit of prem tax going on here. I think the biggest L is the weak foot. They needed to upgrade this to four star. Then it would have been a W. The card stat stats look pretty good. Um, you know, not insane, but pretty good. And of course, England kind of, you know, not playing up to where people wanted them to yesterday versus Scotland. So they're only on one win at the moment, uh, which hurts the upgradability of guys like Foden and, and Grealish and uh, Chilwell. But I still think a lot of people will get interested in this Grealish card. Um, you know, if England can win that, that last match day three game, uh, then I think there will be some hype returning to that squad. Uh, also, objective-wise, this Lucas Hernandez, which we actually talked about on stream yesterday, um, W of an objective, big W of an objective. I know for some of you guys, it's like, man, another French center back in this game. But with the Bayern links and France potentially going far in this tournament, that is a very nice looking card, in my opinion, from the objective section. I mean, well on his way to a plus two already, depending on how France plays. I think they're, they have a game today. They might have a game today or maybe tomorrow. I forget which which day they play. But we also had brand new season players. Langley is pretty dope for level 30. I mean, if you're going to grind all the way there, GG. I think Giovinco is really solid from level 15 though. Uh, of course, the four-star, four-star Giovinco. Uh, he had a Tots card last year, I think. Maybe it was last year. 
Um, there was a really fun card, so big card there. That's a lot of fun. But again, look at these price drop-offs. Havertz is still 1.3. That's actually up. Vinicius is 3 mil. Benyetter Tots, 1 million coins flat, basically. Luke Shaw's 100K. I mean, seriously, boys, you guys know that this market dropped off incredible, incredible amounts. And it was basically because of the supply. Now, I bet a lot of you guys, if you go into the store, your stores look like this right now. You opened up your previews for these packs and you've got 83s sitting right here at the front unless you open the pack and got something sick. Um, but these packs, man, they, they keep releasing packs, right? On the weekends, they do the lightning rounds and they do these 24-hour promo packs that are repeating, right? So we're all gonna be able to preview more packs again today, which in my opinion is gonna bring more supply to the market and drop prices even more. Now we'll get into that, but that's why the market dropped so much today is because everybody was doing these preview packs. And when I tell you everybody, I mean like everybody, man. I have friends that haven't touched FIFA in months and they were making comments. They were going on and opening up these previews because when it comes to basically free packs, because that's basically what this preview is, man. It's a free pack that you get to open and if you like the contents, then you buy it. If you don't, then you stay away. That's like a free pack with the preview. So it's crazy today that EA dropped this and I really am curious to see. Again, we're gonna talk about this a lot going forward, but I'm really curious to see what EA do with this, I know it seems like a bit of a trial run because again, on their um, on the pitch notes that they released today, this is only gonna be out until July 16th, but it's gonna impact the market every day. I honestly think today on the market, you're going to see SBC fodder and a lot of stuff that is in packs in this market itself probably drop off even more because there's going to be more supply today for these cards. These Path of Glory Team 2 cards are going to be so supplied, it's going to be insane. It's the exact opposite as last week as we had guys like Griezmann and Vinicius Jr. with basically no supply on this market and on this game and now you look take a look at these cards and you know even some of these guys are still pretty rare but in the heat of the day today right before these guys were released i mean they were getting supplied a ton now you know the team one cards are still a lot more rare but if you take a look at a, the most expensive card that is in team two now they're probably getting a bit rarer tonight but this pogba man these guys had pages and pages of supply earlier today now there's a lot of stuff that went on today that was um you know, you could tell that EA was preparing for this, right? Now, of course, it's nighttime, so these cards uh, have a little bit less supply. But this Joao Felix last week, I mean, he would he would be a lot more expensive if this was week one um, compared to how week one went through these preview packs being out and all the supply that happened. And um, I also think that he'd be a lot more rare on the market. But these cards are very supplied, and they're going to get even more supply today. And that's the scary thing, in a sense, is that a lot of these PTG cards are probably going to drop even more today on the market. But it's dropping everything else as well because since these cards are getting so cheap from all the supplies coming in from these preview packs that people are looking at, if they get something good, they're buying the pack and then selling the card, which is just bringing in all the supply, um, you know, that's probably going to happen again today. And I think you're, you, you have seen some prices rebound, right? Hazard was down to low 700s. Um, during at the very end of the England Scotland game today, which we were talking about on stream, was going to be the low point. That indeed was. Uh, Hazard was down to like 720k. He bounced back to almost 900. Joao Felix was in the low 800s. He's bounced back to a mil. Um, you know, those are the two you know main ones that I saw myself. I believe Wijnaldum was 300k flat. He's now back to 400. Uh, so you had some really really big bounce backs. And I can show you the graph actually. I think Footbin would have would have caught it. Um, and even some of the sales history would have caught it as well. But you had all the supply. And this is what happens when you have tons and tons and tons of supply on brand new cards like this. It's kind of similar to like community team of the season and Premier League team of the season when you had all the saved up packs. So let me take a look here. Let me go back to like um, 4 p.m. I think 4 to 5 p.m. was when these cards got really, really low. You know, we had... You know, it was about 5 p.m. You see this 840, 842, uh, 846, 849. There was some, still some sales in the 900s here, but he gotten down into the low 800s, 880, 869. And then you see this. You go from 800s and you go back into the 900s here. We've got a million of sale. We've got 900. I mean, there's a lot of undercuts as well, but as we got later into the night, 975, 1.02 mil, 1.02 mil. You see this card rebounding from like the low to mid 800s back up to a million coins where it is right now with this Joao Felix. So crazy movements on these cards today, and it's all about the supply. And the thing that, again, scares me is I think there's more supply coming today. Now, even some of the out-of-pack stuff, like I tried buying some icons. I bought four 
of these baby, uh, oh my gosh, 124K. That's an insanely low bid. I missed out on that one. But I bought four of these at 200,000 coins. He hasn't barely moved, right? There's a couple overnights. I'm gonna try to sell him at like 230 once he gets rare. But I honestly think that a lot of stuff is gonna get lower because again, even this guy like Kessie, right? He was down to the low 300s, like 315 to 310, links to the brand new Rebich, a very rare team this season item he barely bounced back. He's like 340, 330, 340. So that's a very little bounce back on some of these cards. It just seems like people are mostly focused on the PTG items. And I do think they drop more today. I do think they drop more today because everybody's going to get on. They're going to look at these cards prices and um, they're going to say, okay, um, I'm going to do my preview packs once again to see if I pack anything sick and then and then go from there. And I think that's going to drop the market even more today. It's, it's literally dropping everything though. But again, these are live items that are very supplied in the market. People are packing them and they're getting very cheap. And that live just aspect to them is, you know, kind of more enticing than some of these team of the season cards that were just released. Now, this guy Neymar is basically like, you know, he's he doesn't drop, which is kind of crazy to see. He's like market crash proof. In a sense, that's pretty cool to see. But again, just tons and tons of crashing today. If we look through a lot of these squads, you see the prices that are down. I mean, Mertens is down a bunch. Uh, Teo Hernandez is down a bunch as well. We take a look at the Bundesliga. I mean, this Lacroix card, of course, at the objective, Fernandez is down lows. Lewandowski, 1.1. That's down a lot. Muller is a 200K flat. 219k, he was 200 flat. Goretzka 2-1 is just crashing everywhere. But honestly, boys, again, I think that it goes lower. I really think that it does go lower. Sun is 728k. Wow, that's actually crazy. I think this stuff goes lower today because, again, I think that this constant pack, I guess, addiction, everybody's going to be looking at these packs every single day. And was, again, today with lightning rounds, the lightning rounds are going to get hit hard today on Saturday because everybody's going to go in here. They're going to preview packs again for the 50, 100, and 125K lightning rounds. And if they get something good, they're going to buy the pack and then go sell it and try to make the coins off of it. And that's, again, just why this market is crashing so, so much. Now, again, with all the supply that is coming to the market, fodder's in the mud. Fodder is in the mud and it is down bad. And to be honest with you, if we're having continual supply almost every day this week, even if we have really, really good SBCs, we're going to have a lot of supply coming in from those daily promo packs being released every 24 hours, which is my opinion, what they'll do. Now they might slow down the pack weight, right? They could really slow down the pack weight if they really wanted to. But again, all this supply coming in is going to make things interesting. Uh, I know you're looking at this fodder and like, man, Nate, this stuff is really cheap. 84s are 4k a pop. 85s or 8K, 86s or 15. Honestly, boys, I think that it goes a bit lower today. Also, what you saw was some of your higher rated team of the season cards that were out of packs. Those guys even dropped because in all the SBCs today, they were not required. So keep an eye on those. People that invested were selling some of those uh, and they've kind of gotten cheap again. So that's one thing I would look out for is maybe some of your cheap, you know, 86 to 90 rated TOTS cards uh, that were not there before. And now what we have is we have actually some of these Conmi Boat players that are dropping down into the cheapest players by rating category. You know, like this Valencia has an 86, 15K. 87Ks, Arias at 17, uh, or sorry, 87 rated at 17K, and Jaleri at 24K for an 88. So that's kind of interesting as well. I mean, those aren't required for SBCs, but um, if you see some of the informs and some of those TOTS cards dropping, they're probably going to require those again later on this week. So I would 100% keep an eye out for those. And you know, fodder wise, you could look into get getting a few cards into your club um, potentially. I would say uh, today, maybe tomorrow, but I think with these, with the supply of lightning rounds, it's honestly just insane. Uh, and I just can't get over it, man. I can't get over what these preview packs are doing for the market. It's going to make the market so volatile. Um, and you know, I got burned. I lost a lot of coins today. I haven't actually realized those losses yet, but I bought Foden's for 900K last night, um, you know, hoping for a good game from the English team. Uh, yesterday and uh, yeah when the two for one packs dropped this guy tanked and then of course I was holding out for the England game for a good result that didn't work he was actually down at 570k I believe he's back up over 600 but I'm gonna have to take some losses here and I'm probably gonna take them today because again I really feel like with these cards getting supplied so much 
these brand new PTG cards are going to be on the market so much and they're going to be supplied and it's just going to make everything drop. So that's the biggest thing. I know I've said it so many times already, but the number one word that is making this market crash right now is supply. Now there is some hype for these brand new cards because they're really cool and they're actually really cheap, uh, but the supply is just insane. And I think it continues today unless EA literally turn the pack weight off. I really do think that it continues today. Um, now, one, one thing I would watch out for is Try to find some cards that rebounded decently well today. Areola with some of those links, of course, to like Teo Hernandez, or sorry, Lucas Hernandez and some of the Prem center backs that people still use. He was down at 70K, bounced back to 87. That was a nice rise. Uh, Harvey Barnes and the panic selling from the Grealish card was down at 300 flat. He's back up at 360. Wamasaka was at 340. He's back to 390. So for the rare cards that actually bounced back on the market today, those would be cards that I would watch over the next day or so um, as this market continues to fall off during the week and the sell-off. Because again, I think it's going to get even worse and the market is going to continue to go down with these cards being on the market and being the most hyped up thing in the game at this moment. Um, so I'd keep watching for those, man. And if you're trying to trade, it's going to be quick in, quick out. I would still 100% say that open bids are going to be great. In a market like this, it's, it's great to fluctuation trade. But you know what? It's very hard to pick your entry and exit levels. Um, now, specifically for some of these Team 1 PTG cards, I bought a Domitin Sanchez today at 97,000 coins. He's up to 148. Acuna is up to 400K. So if you bought any of these cards that didn't have games today, right? Verratti was 320. Yorente was under 700,000 coins. Nabry was like, uh, you know, 170, I believe. Thorgan Hazard was 140. So some of these guys from PTG Team 1, they had that short hour of supply where they were getting listed up, but their supply kind of stopped, right? It's really Team 2 that is going to make, you know, some of these cards drop back down a little bit more, in my opinion. Griezmann was like 2.3 or 2.4 mil at one point today, and now he's 2.8. So again, you have seen a, a nice bounce back on some of these cards. Like, look at this, man. Yeah, he was down here at 2.25. And now he's back to 2.8. Look at this insane rise on Griezmann uh, just because of rarity. 2.11 on bid. Two of them. Insane. Insane, insane profit for some people on some of these cards today if you timed it correctly. Now, you know, I was broke because I had the Foden, so I wasn't able to take too much of an advantage of that price fluctuation. Uh, but I was able to buy some stuff first hour when all the supply was coming in and, and, and then sell it then. Now, one thing you might see today, if people are you know hearing this video or remembering what happened yesterday with all these packs, you might see a bit of panic selling again on guys like Firmino, guys like Pogba, Joao Felix, Eden Hazard, the brand new cards that are in PTG Team 2. I would definitely watch out for these today. And if there is panic selling pre 1 p.m., that might make their drops that happen because of the supply a little bit um, less. And if you don't see a lot of them entering the market today, then that could be something where, you know, you maybe have a little bit of a bounce back if the panic selling is just too much. But again, I think supply is going to overwhelm and again, be the name of the game today on Saturday and Sunday. I really think it's just going to keep going because we're going to have those preview packs out in FIFA once again. And it's honestly crazy times. For this game it's it's so crazy with the way this is going but hopefully today on saturday as well last week we had good sbc content uh hopefully we have good sbc content today as well i would be expecting hopefully some players i don't remember if we had javi and garincha last week we might have we might have got those on sunday though so um i would 100 look out for a player sbc today since of course we had a Grealish yesterday and hope for something else today you know maybe two player sbcs um I don't know if they do anything else along the along the lines of like an upgrade pack. It's a little bit early for that. Probably another festival football challenge and a player SBC. Good luck if you're playing weekend league. I am taking this one off. Uh, no more of that for me, at least until later on. But yeah, PTG Team 2, it's an insane team, right? I think I would rate this above Team 1 in terms of hype, in terms of the players. And of course, the upgrades are almost here. So that makes it even a little bit more hype because some of these cards are entering the game like Roberto Firmino already on two wins, partially to his first upgrade already. So that was very, very hype. But again, I want to know down in the comments below, did you guys lose some coins today? Because I lost some coins. We're going to take it on the chin and make it back. That's the way we do things around here. And it's going to be a very volatile market over the next few days. So just be ready for that. And if that's something that excites you, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to make coins. It's just not going to be very easy. Let's say there's going to be a lot of, you know, moving around. So with the weekly demand though, some of this stuff has bounced back and there is some W's to that, but a lot of it is just staying low and a lot of prices are dropping down. So we'll see how much prices drop down again tomorrow because I think they will continue 
to do so on this market. But it's crazy times, boys. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.